Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Cash. How do we explain how cavities develop to preschoolers? I prefer to use a lot of visual aids, show children proper brushing technique, and explain to them the causes of sugar in terms they can understand. This is an especially important topic to me. What I find is many adults are fearful of dental treatment, and the adults that are usually this stems from a poor childhood dental experience. So if we can keep the kids happy and healthy and comfortable at the dental office, this will lead to happy, healthy adults and adults that are less fearful of dental work. A good way to explain removing sugar, and sh I call them sugar bugs to the kids from teeth, is explain good hygiene habits and how to brush properly, the way to brush, and the type of toothbrush to use. And I tend to make this kind of fun for the kids. We like to explain that drinks and sugary foods can cause sugar bugs in the kids' mouths. And what the kids want to do is brush away all of the sugar bugs. We want to take a toothbrush. I want to teach the kids how to hold the toothbrush properly. And that's a 45 degree angle towards the gums. And we want to just do small, gentle circles. And while kids do have to learn this dexterity, it's very helpful to, to tell them not to mash and push really hard. We just need to glide gently over the gums and gent gently brush back and forth. And rather than 45 degree angle, if we just tell them tilt the toothbrush a little bit towards the gums. Another good point is to tell them don't forget to brush your tongue because a lot of sugar bugs hide on your tongue as well. So it gets the kids in the habit of brushing their tongue. Another very important thing is that kids use the right size toothbrush. An adult toothbrush is very large in the kid's mouth, and we like to show them the difference between an adult toothbrush and a kid's toothbrush. Getting small toothbrushes are ideal for kids. They're generally the same as adult toothbrushes, just with a smaller brush head. It makes it easier and more comfortable for the kids to brush. Other visual aids that are very helpful to show them are pictures of the mouth and how we're showing the toothbrush in the mouth and how we angle the toothbrush. Visual is better for the kids. I hope this is helpful and informative. Thank you.